Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I am having a really good one, getting ready to hit, hit the road for the graduation party and everything else. Got a long way to go. Just waiting for my wife to get ready so we can leave. And while I was sitting here... Um, it seems like people are not taking the usual BS from the Cowboys. That they literally are kind of, you know what, you, you fooled us enough times, we're not believing the bullshit. You know, when we did the opening press conference, we had Jerry Jones literally tell us that if they signed Dak, Micah, and CD, that it was going to be like 72% of the salary cap. That literally, that it'll only be those three guys on the team. And yet, here it is. We see Miami sign Tua to a $53 million deal where they already have, you know, Jalen Waddell, who's on like a, a 20, um, 28, 29 million, and Tariq Hill at 30 million, where they've got uh, Jalen Ramsey on like 18 million, and they have as much cap space as we do. So it's kind of like, how is it? that everybody can seem to sign players that we've signed literally everybody, I mean nobody, and still can't sign anybody. Um, I'm going to say that either they're the most inept when it comes to doing contracts and understanding money as far as a salary cap, or they're lying to you. Because basically, those who can do, those who can't, talk about those who can now can you or can you not no you just want to sit on the sideline to talk about other people or can you so jerry and steven can you or can you not and to have cd lamb to to procrastinate as long as they have knowing that cd lamb was holding out knowing that we've been through this before with Zeke and all the way back to Emmett smith that they continue to do the same stupid shit and it seems like, you know, me and Game Time, Game Time was talking about in his live stream yesterday from his government job, he was saying that, you know, the media that, that you see at the press conference and things, they are beholden to the Cowboys because the problem for them is, you know, if you say something that's a little too far, you know, out there or make them look at bad light, you won't be invited back anymore. You won't get any questions. So you kind of have to toe the company line and tell everybody everything's great and so on. But it seems like people are getting a little more testy. When Mike Fisher was asking, you know, he, Mike Fisher interviewed Jerry Jones, um, I believe it was Thursday, and it seemed like Mike Fisher's getting a little bit more edgy and just kind of more pissed off. And here is Clarence Hill. I'm, I'm actually really surprised by this because... Clarence Hill directly challenges the Jones and calls him out for bullshit. Let's dispel another myth. The Cowboys can pay Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb, and Micah Parsons at the top of the market and still build a team around them. Don't fall for the Cowboys, woe is me, oh, woe is me, you know, I'm a billionaire, but, you know, there's a lot of things that I've wanted and, and I couldn't have. Yeah, we, we see how broke you are having to go to 7-Eleven to buy some wine. You were there in line with Ned DeWino because you're broke. Ned DeWino and Jerry Jones buying wine at 7-Eleven. Hopefully the players won't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. You only get to dictate your future once or maybe twice in the NFL. The business of the game always wins in the end. You ain't spoken any truer words than that because, you know, it's kind of funny how they need you and they love you until they don't. And they only have one thing to say when they don't. Goodbye. And don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. And this is where a lot of people will say, oh, well, you know, <laughs> they're so greedy they want to take every bit of the money, you know, 
poor Jerry Jones, you know, he got to pay that money for Dak Prescott. Yeah. You got to pay that money for CD. Yeah. But understand this, guys. Understand this. When you have the 53-man roster and that money that's getting paid, it's not coming out of Jerry Jones' pocket. There's a salary cap that 48% of the revenue goes to the players. It's 53 players that are out there plus the practice squad guys. So, in essence, about 75 people. Whereas the 52% chunk goes to Jerry Jones. So when you take all of the salaries of all of the players on a team, that's not even half. I mean, that that's, that's not even the same as what the owners get. And the owners aren't out there breaking bones, getting injured, dying on the field. So before we feel sorry for them, let's remember that and that these guys have a short window of time. Jerry Jones, he's been the owner of the Dallas Cowboys raking in that dough since what, 1989? Don't cry for me, Argentina. So, yeah, the Cowboys... They have been weighed, they've been measured, and they've been found wanting. And people are beginning to get fed up with the bullshit. Will that change anything? Probably not. Jerry Jones is definitely an old dog who's got no new tricks, and um, he's still playing from the same playbook. I think we're the ones that are beginning to learn that it is some crap. So there we have it. Uh, The team will be back on the field at 11 o'clock today. That's uh, two hours from now. Um, Let's knock on wood and pray. Let us pray that nobody gets hurt and that the guys keep getting better. Uh, We've heard some good things about Mozzie. We know that Micah Parsons is kind of holding a a little bit against Malik Hooker. Um, We're seeing some good battles as far as wide receivers. Without C.D. Lamb being there, uh, uh, Stephen Jones has been seen doing absolutely nothing um, as far as contracts go and all that stuff. So everything is business as usual for the Cowboys. And Dak Prescott's throwing dimes and Trey Lance, not so much. All right, good people. Uh, I'm going to check and see if my wife's ready to go here and get the car loaded. And I'll see you on the road. Peace out.